Get ready, because today I'm gonna share with you the secret to compressing the golf ball. You know what I'm talking about. That moment when the club face has clean contact with the ball and you hit it right in the sweet spot, it's one of the reasons we love the game. I'm PJ teaching professional Todd Cope, and hitting a solid golf shot, a solid iron shot where we hit the ball, and then we hit the ground, and the divot is in front of the ball, and that ball is sailing towards the target, man, there is nothing better. So how do we do it? Well, let's dive right into it. So the first thing I gotta share with you is the reason a lot of you are not compressing the golf ball. Because if you don't understand what you're doing wrong, we don't know how to fix it. So here's typically what we see. What I see is that when you're set up, okay, for the most part, most of you are getting set up correctly, but when you take the club back, the club head wraps in and around the hands. And one of the things that a lot of golfers do not understand, and quite frankly, even some coaches do not understand, is the relationship between the handle and the club head has a huge impact on what we call low point. Low point is where the club hits the ground. All right, so let me just demonstrate this with you because you've got to understand this concept if you're gonna know how to fix it. When we set up here, and we swing the club straight back and straight through. Notice where the club hits the ground. You can see where it's right in the middle of my feet, right? But if I start swinging this club head, the club head, in to out, where is the club hitting the ground? It's way back here, okay? Well, the same thing holds true whether it's a chip shot or a full swing. When you're set in here and I swing this club head inside, okay? you're gonna be prone to hitting back and behind it. So the key to doing that is making sure that in the takeaway, when you swing it back, you maintain the relationship between the handle and the club head so it looks more like this, right there. See that move right there? Notice where the club head is at? Took a divot, but the divot was in front of the ball. Now, the question becomes, all right, I understand what I was doing, I understand what I want to do, so let me share with you a way that I like to show students how to do it, and then also a drill to help you do that. So if you're at my academy, when I'm teaching this concept, which is a pretty common concept we teach a lot, we like to use a plane slider. And the reason we use a plane slider, it's got this ball right here. You'll see it kind of slides up and down. It's actually like a, a golf ball. But when we swing it back, if I maintain that relationship between the club head and the handle, all right, it stays there and then also it falls. So it's got a great audio and visual feel. If my student takes it inside, nothing happens. See that? Even no matter how far I swing it, it doesn't happen. So with the plane slider, it's pretty simple. It's right here, it's in front. See where the golf ball is at? Right there, hinge it up, boom. So typically what I'll do is, you know, I like to do three setters. If you've watched any of my videos before, and hey, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you know when we got a new video that just came out because, man, I tell you what, we're putting out really good content in all honesty all the time, and I love hearing from you. I love the comments, especially from those of you who are overseas. Man, you're, you're from Norway and from, from Sweden and from, I mean, England and Nick, they're coming from all over, right? They're everywhere. <laughs> we got them from everywhere, right? So when you swing it back, right here, okay? Oh, there. So I'll do a three setter. So here we go. There's one, there's two, there's three. All right, pretty simple, right? Then what I'll do is I'll have my student grab the golf club and I'm gonna have them now get that same feel because it's fresh and I'm gonna have them just hit a shot. Pretty solid. So that's what you would do if you were with me at the academy. But let me give you a drill that can also, you know, help you get that feel. So I've got my six iron. I'm gonna take a golf tee. I'm gonna put it right here in the hole on the end of the grip. See how I did that? Pretty simple, right? Now what you're gonna do is when you swing it back, you're gonna have the T stay pointed at your belt buckle. See that? That's magic right there. Okay, that's gold information right there. See that? If you do the old takeaway where the bottom of the swing, remember the low point, moves back and behind, points over there. See that? So what we'll do is we'll do a three setter. Here we go, set in there. There's one, point on my belt buckle. There's two, there's three. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit a shot. Okay, a little thin, but all in all, I'll take it. So understanding how you can press the golf ball is the only way you can do it, but you gotta have a way to practice it. These couple ideas that I just shared with you are gonna help you compress the golf ball and hit that nice pure shot that we're all looking for.